At Highland Hill Farm, for 35 years, we've been selling screening and shading trees for buffers and windbreaks and to block neighbors and things like that. It turns out that the biggest part of our business is just that, neighbors trying to screen out and buffer themselves from neighbors. So we've heard over the years every conceivable kind of story about screening for and buffering for neighbors and neighbors that hate each other and want to kill each other or want to block each other out. At Highland Hill Farm, we have found that 95% of our customers hate their neighbors, and the other 5% haven't met them yet. So if you have a neighbor problem and you want to solve it, give us a call at 215-651-8329. We have solved all types of neighbor relation issues by establishing large blockage from trees and shrubs to large arborvitaes, pine trees, and junipers. We also put in trees and shrubs that cut them to ribbons if they try and trespass, like pyracantha. So give us a call if you hate your neighbor. We understand. It's okay. We can take care of the situation. Give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you.
bottom there, and you should have asked. Well, I didn't think it would matter. It's, you know, I rent the ground. What the hell? He says, I rent the ground. I said, listen, man, this guy is really upset. I said, you know, you're in trouble. He's called the police on you, he says, and, you know, all this, you know, well, you got me involved in it. I'm going to have to take those trees out. You know, it's going to cost you money. Said, How much is it going to cost you to move the trees? I said, well, it's going to cost at least like 2000 bucks to move those trees. Those are big trees. we got to move them. Oh, jeez. So he gets all upset. So now i got to figure out what the hell. I don't want to move these trees. So I, so I, I got this idea. I thought, well... I said to the guy, I said, well, why don't you, you know, since the trees only have to last till 2012, why don't you just rent the ground till 2012 and then tell him after 2012 he can, he can get rid of the trees any which way he wants. But until then, you just rent the ground. He says, do you think he'll do that? I said, yeah. Why don't you, I said, why don't you, you know, it's going to cost you $2,000 to move the trees. I said, why don't you offer him 1000 bucks to move the trees and 1000 bucks to have some more and I'll go talk to the man. And he says, do you think you could do that? I said, yeah, give me the money. I'll see if I can't square it away from you. So he reaches in his pocket. He pulls out 2000 bucks. I put it into my pocket. I walk back over to this landlord. I said, man, you know, th this guy's nuts. I said, this guy, he thinks the world's going to end in 2012. Yeah, he thinks the world's going to end, but he's a friggin' pervert, and he's on mega... And I, okay, I, I know all about that, but you know, let, let's discuss the problem here at hand. And he's got these trees, and i got to move them, or, you, you know, something. I said... Why don't you, you know, the guy's nuts. I mean, you believe him, you know, he, he's on Megan's list and he thinks the world's going to end in 2020. He's nuts. I said, well, why don't you just rent him the ground till 2012? Ah, he won't do that. I said, man, I'm sure he would. You know, why don't you tell him you need a thousand bucks, you know, to, to rent, rent the ground till 2012 and he can have them there till then. But after 2012, the trees come out. He says, you think he'd go for that? Yeah, I'll go talk to the guy. So I go back over. I say, well, this almost, deal's almost set. I said to the guy, you know, I'll go back and I'll talk to him. I'll see if he, you know, about these other trees. So I go back to the landlord again. And I said to him, I said, well, you know, he's, he'd probably be good with that. But he really wants 10 more trees. So he's offering, you know, the thousand bucks. He'll give you 2,000 bucks to have 20 hemlocks planted there until 2012. And after that, you can tear them down because the world's going to end. He says, you think you're going to go with that? Yeah, man, he'll go with that. He said, you know, look, he just gave me the money. And I whipped in my, out of my pocket the $2,000. He says, right here, all you got to do is say you want it. The guy says, I'll take the money. So I hand him the 2000 bucks. Man, he's happier than a pig and shit, man. He said, man, this is good. I had 2000 bucks to have the dumb trees there. And I can get the, I can remove them after 2012. I said, yeah, you can remove them after 2012. Oh, this is great. So the landlord's all happy. He's, he's so happy. In fact, he gives me a $200 tip. Oh, wow, that makes my day. So I go back over and I tell him, well, it's all set. You can have 10 more. Oh, that's great. So he whips out $6,000 more for the trees and hands me a $200 tip as well. Now I got $6,000 more for the 10 more trees and $400 in tips from both of them. And as they both leave the driveway and drive out of the driveway, all happy, happy campers, they each are waving to me, you know, and the landlord says, I ain't calling the police no more, I'm calling you. Okay, so why don't you call me if you have a screening and buffering problem at Highland Hill Farm. My telephone number is 215-651-8329. I can solve your screening and buffering problems. After all, I've seen every kind of problem on this planet Earth with neighbors hating neighbors. Thank you.